you've got to remember that uh, they've always got to think that there still might be a better dog going to come in and a better routine. So here's our 12th competitor, and this is Desiree with Tess, a 11-year-old border collie bitch. They're going to be performing to Dance Macabre, and uh, this is uh, their first time at Crufts. What a very interesting ending that was. And leaving the dog in the middle of the ring there. So, so lovely. And, uh, you know, hard to believe that dog's 11 years old. I mean, it was going around there with such enthusiasm. And uh, that was actually uh, the handler, Desiree's first dog she had when she was 13 years old. So they've been together for all that time. And uh, they've been dog dancing for the last five years. And Tess there doing so well for uh, their first time in the big ring. And there is our scores for our Netherlands handler. That was Tess, the 11-year-old Border Collie bitch. And they're in the fourth place on 25.37.
So this was the uh, if you're in the UK, um, Jonathan Creek music, I think it was, and uh, doing some nice distance work there. We were speaking about distance work earlier, and that will have sort of scored well with the judges that distance work. But you want you know, a combination of moves, some at a distance, some close to the handler, and you don't want to sort them all at a distance. And uh, I think it's the first ever routine I've seen with a, an actual skeleton sat in the roots, in the ring at, uh, at Cross. I tell you, there's been many a routine in this ring, and there the dog just died at the end. Now that is confidence, isn't it, for the dog to do that, to fall back on its own. The owner was nowhere near it. Thank you. 